How's it going everybody? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video. Breaking news! We've got word out of Verge, theverge.com. Max Payne remakes are on the way. We've got here Remedy is remaking Max Payne and Max Payne 2. Now while this sounds really exciting on the surface, uh, I've got some concerns here. So, you know, getting right into the meat and potatoes of the article, it says here, Remedy Entertainment is remaking Max Payne and Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. The company is establishing a new development agreement with Rockstar Games. Oh, God. For the remakes, which will be released as a single title for the PC, PC, PS5, excuse me, Xbox Series X and S. And it's got here uh, in quotes, we were thrilled when our longtime friends at Remedy approached us about remaking the original Max Payne games, said Rockstar Games founder Sam Hauser in a press release. We are massive fans of the work, yeah right, that's why we never got a Max Payne 4, that Remedy team has created over the years and we can't wait to play these new versions. I don't know about that. I don't know. You guys kind of shit the bed with the Grand Theft Auto trilogy so far. Remedy to reach out to Rockstar, yeah, that's pretty cool. But if Remedy doesn't have creative control over this and we've got some third-party in indie developer doing these remakes, I don't know about this. They're saying here uh, the press release refers to the somewhat awkwardly new titled games as the new Max Payne 1 and 2 project. Uh, that can't be the final name. There's no way. <laughs> But more to the point, and I talked about this uh, a couple of months ago as I recently replayed the original Max Payne, the engine, the in-house engine that Remedy used for that game, it just really holds up over time. It has a very unique aesthetic. Sure, the games are obviously dated, but when you play them today, uh, there's no other way that I would want to play Max Payne. And I could only imagine with these remakes, quote unquote remakes, uh, they'll probably remove Sam Lake's face from the first game and it'll be streamlined with the second. Uh, so, <laughs> like I said, on the surface, it sounds exciting that they are remaking Max Payne 1 and 2. Uh, again, this was something that I actually talked about a couple of months ago. I was like, wouldn't this be incredible, you know, if they could do this? But again, it sounds like they're going to overhaul the engine and uh, fuck around with the original artistic direction of the game. The way the original artists and developers uh, intended the game to look. Uh, we're going to get a remake and God only knows what's going to be what's going to come of it it's probably going to be you know grand theft auto trilogy uh remastered all over again i i shun to think <laughs> so last year's alan wake remastered was incredible and again that was a remaster that wasn't a remake uh you know remedy's obviously working on alan wake 2 so they're busy with that so that's why it kind of leads me to believe that they're going to outsource this Max Payne project to a third-party developer. And uh, that's what sort of makes me uneasy and uh, makes me want to throw up my breakfast, to be honest with you. So, <laughs> so while I am excited that they are remaking the first Max Payne and the Max Payne 2 games, I don't quite know enough about how they're going about this. And right now... I am going to remain cautiously optimistic. Um, I imagine they're not going to obviously fuck around with Max Payne 3 because the game still looks pretty good, even by today's standards. Uh, even though it would be cool to get a proper remastered version of that game running at 60 frames per second. So, yeah, one of my most favorite beloved franchises and games of all time is getting a quote-unquote remake. And uh, again, I'm not too crazy on this. I like the original artistic direction of these games. So if they remove Sam Lake's face, then fuck that. I'm not even going to touch 
these remakes with a 10 foot pole it was bad enough that they took his likeness and his face out of the second installment and then we don't need to talk about the third installment so <laughs> i like the third game uh it's a real good game but it did sort of veer too far away from the neo-noir uh vibe of the original two games uh as rockstar obviously took over from there so that's going to do it for this video what are your thoughts on the upcoming max Payne remakes do you think this is a cynical cheap cash grab uh packing two incredible games into one package that uh, could potentially be remade by an indie developer uh again shake my head or do you think this is going to be uh hopefully a legitimate remake uh, that will not veer too far away from the original classics. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.